Hi, after burning up a uh, Arduino, I decided to put some input protection on it. So I wanted to be able to put uh, 30 volts at uh, either negative or positive on there. My power supply puts out 30 volts, so I picked that. And in order to do that, I decided to use a, uh, a Zener regulator. So here's the Zener diodes. They happen to be uh, 5.1 volt diodes. Now I'm using them in this configuration because I want to be able to put, uh, you know, positive or negative here. If I put positive up here, it'll go through there, and uh, this will be our 5.1 volts across our Zener diode here. Now, because the um, there's a forward drop here of about uh, 0.6 volts, so instead of being 5.1 now, it's going to be about 5.7 volts across these two Zeners. That's how it's going to regulate it. That'll be fine. So. I want to find R1, the value of R1. Now, these these zeners are good for uh, 50 milliamps, according to the specs. And I don't want to put more than, say, 20 milliamps through my, my diodes down here. So, over here I take uh, the voltage in, which is going to be, my max will be 30. And then the volt minus the voltage across the zeners, which is going to be 5.7. Here it is here, 30 minus 5.7. Now, the current across the zeners is going to be, say, 50. I don't want to go above uh, 50 uh, milliamps. And 20 across here. So I add those two together. It's going to be 70 milliamps. And I divide that into my uh, 24.3, which I get from up here. That means that I have to have a 347 ohm resistor to limit the current to 70 milliamps. Uh, they make a 360. Now, for 360 at... Uh, if I have um, 70 milliamps times the uh, 24 volts, that's 1.7 watts I got to dissipate. So I need a 2 watt resistor. Well, I didn't have a 2 watt in 360. I did have a 470 ohm 2 watt resistor. Now, the uh, 470, the uh, the current it's going to reduce the current, of course, and to about 50 milliamps and the dissipate the wattage that I'll dissipate is only going to be about uh, you know one and a quarter watts. So a uh, 470 uh, two watt resistor will be just fine. Now I need to limit the current through these uh, uh, diodes down here. <clears throat> these are two diodes, light emitting diodes. I just have them put opposite here so it can be positive or negative up here, and one of them will light. And this this is an uh, LTV 814H. Uh, optocoupler and it's uh, it's good for AC input so whether it's negative or positive input it'll 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 light up and work now this will drop about 1.7 volts and the optocoupler drops about 1.5 volts across there so to find the value of R2 I take uh, the Zener voltage which is uh, 7.5 and then I'm I minus the the 3.2 voltage drop I want to drop across here. So I need to drop uh, 2.5 volts across the uh, resistor and uh, I don't want 20 I'm only going for uh, 19 milliamps across there and if we divide that into our voltage it comes out that I need a 130 ohm resistor. So and a quarter watt will be fine for that. I'll set this thing up and we'll give it a try. All right here we are. I've got, uh, well, almost 31 volts in, in input, and uh, I'll see what we have across the, the zeners here. If I can get on there. 5.8. The zener diodes do have some resistance in there you have to take into account. Now I'm going to lower the voltage and see as long as that red diodes uh, lit my oh, it went out at two let's see yeah, it comes back on about uh, three three point six volts so it'll work from uh, three point six up to to thirty volts and I can change the polarity on it Thank you. I'll do the switch of polarity now.
minus 31 and 30 volts uh, the other diode comes on there we go